Don't forget to leave a like, share and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get into today's video. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Crossing the Line. Good news! Top G, Andrew Tate and Tristan Tate have been released from uh, Romanian prison, uh, but are still under house arrest. So we're going to take a look at this story from The Guardian. Andrew Tate released from detention and moved to house arrest in Romania. Bucharest court appeals in favour of the divisive social media influencer who has spent months in a Romanian jail. Andrew Tate and the divisive social media influencer... <laughs> They, they really they really don't like him, do they? I mean, you can't say anything about him. And you Google Andrew Tate, it says uh, known misogynist and things like that. But um, you don't even get that when you Google uh, Jeffrey Epstein or anyone like that. So we'll see. Uh, Andrew Tate, the divisive uh, social media influencer who spent three months in Romanian jail on suspicion of organized crime and human trafficking, has won an appeal along with his brother to be moved from detention to house arrest. The Bucharest Court of Appeal ruled in favor of the appeal, which challenged a judge decision last week to extend his arrest a fourth time for 30 days. Tate, 36, a British US citizen who has 5.4 million Twitter followers, was initially detained in December in Bucharest along with his brother Tristan and two Romanian women, Nigel Georgina Manuela and Radu Alexandria Lu Luana. Uh, they have dis uh, denied all accusations. All four won an appeal on Friday and will remain under house arrest until 29th April. Romania Bola, a spokeswoman, uh, spokesperson for Romania's uh, anti-organized crime agency, said none of the four have yet been formally indicted. Tate's communications director, Mita Prosecu, told Sky News they are not a flight risk and they're not a danger to public safety. Therefore, the authorities have decided to release them under house arrest. It's uh, just a small step. They are still under investigation. They're absolutely ecstatic. They kept up the spirits in jail. They are really thrilled and looking forward to being at home. They have kept their optimism throughout. The former professional kickboxer and self-proclaimed misogynist, there we go, who has lived in Romania since 2017, is banned from having an account on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube for violating rules of dangerous individuals and breaching hate speech rules. He was suspended in Twitter in 2017, but allowed back in November 2022. That's I just had a video taken down for a hate speech, literally just reporting on this on TikTok. So people who are complaining that uh, TikTok doesn't censor any information, they censor fucking everything. I mean, uh, what was the other videos? I made fun of Daniel Andrews. I had that taken down. I did a video about that Audrey Hale, the school shooter, that w was taken down as well, even though other media outlets and just normal TikTok accounts have posted this exact same stuff. Um, you say anything on any platform that they don't like, you'll shut down immediately. And TikTok seems to be now is the worst for it. Uh so uh, maybe if you want to go and see Andrew Tate, you're probably going to have to go to Rumble if he's uh, inclined to even start filming again. But it'll be interesting to see. But uh, I'd say he's going to have to keep his mouth shut about the uh, litigation and that. Uh, he can't come out and really talk about it, I'd say, because that's not going to end well. Uh, you say the wrong thing, go to prison, you know. So we'll keep reading here from the story. Uh Dilcott said in a statement after December, the arrests that had been identified six victims in the human trafficking case were allegedly subjected to acts of physical violence and mental coercion and sexually exploited by members of the alleged crime group. The agency said victims were lured with presence, uh, pretenses of love and later intimidated, placed under surveillance and subjected to other control tactics while being coerced into engaging pornographic acts for the financial game of the crime group. In January, Romanian authorities said that they had seized goods and money worth almost £3.25 million, uh, Euro, sorry, after the influencers' compound, including a fleet of luxury cars. So where do they go from here? Uh, if I was them, I'd be trying to get the fuck out of Romania because they just kept locking them up for 30 days at a time without charges even being laid with uh i don't know how it works over there but that would not fly over here uh unless maybe you're donald trump and then they'll lock you up for no reason anyway but they look like they're in good spirits they look like they're in good health so this is a step in the right direction uh of at least finding out what the truth is around this now i don't follow the tate brothers i haven't watched any of their podcasts or anything but they do have 
an affinity to say truth that hurts, which I I like. <laughs> I mean, anyone who says the truth, that is seems to be an inconvenient truth for a lot of people. Um, I enjoy. So I don't know whether these guys are what they are made out to be here, but I highly doubt it because it seems a little suspect to me anyway, just from looking from the periphery. But we'll see. Hopefully this goes well for them. Andrew Tate and uh, Tristan Tate are finally out of prison and uh, they're back home under house arrest. So that's a step in the right direction for justice at least because uh, you can't just keep locking people up without charging them for, you know, since last year, since December. So, um, yeah, hopefully we'll we'll hear from them, I suppose, because they, they do quite like their social media and they do quite like the camera. So I'm sure we'll hear from them and we'll see where this court case goes, whether they'll be found guilty or innocent. I'm sure it's going to be... Uh, interesting watch it'll be better than watching the uh, amber heard johnny depp trial and um hopefully these guys find find peace and find justice because i don't think they're gonna get a fair trial in romania by the looks of it, it looks like they're pissed off the wrong person and um yeah well we'll see where this goes thanks for watching this episode i'll see you guys in another video don't forget to leave a like a share and subscribe to the channel comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video